We're going to look now at the creation of the tables used to store the data. Tables themselves have already been created, table order and table size. In order to do the, that creation, you click on the Create ribbon at the top of the screen and Table. This automatically creates a blank table in Datasheet view. Going into Design view will ask you to save the table. Type in its name, this just as an example. The table will be saved in that new name and you'll be looking at the design view of that table. I'm just going to close this one and delete it to avoid any confusion later on. Now going into the order table in design view, we can have a look at the fields that have already been created. The ID field that Access created for us has been renamed as Order ID as an auto number. The default options have been left there. The order date has been set as a short date. A default value is equals date bracket bracket. That allows Access to automatically put in today's date as default. Surname and first name are both text fields set with a minimum field size of 30. Year group is set to be an integer, a number. Format is set to zero, so only one, one digit can be entered. And a validation rule of between one and seven ensures that no number above that or below that can be entered. And the input mask of zero prevents anything other than the digits naught to nine being entered. Tutor and size required are both set to have a field length of three. The format for both should, be ha should have a greater than symbol. This ensures that all text is capitalized, whether it's entered in that format or not. Price of shirt is a currency field. The default value here is set to be the price of the shirt, 19.99. In the size table, just requires one field. The, size of the, the sizes of the shirt set to be a text field, three characters long, and just as its friend and its other table, the format is set to capitals. Back in the order table, the size required is meant to be a lookup. And that lookup takes its data from the size table. Which has been entered there. It will automatically put itself into alphabetical order, and it's very difficult to make it keep it in S, M, L, XL, etc. The options to make it look up the table are there a combo box or a drop down menu. The row source is a table or query. You then tell it which table. The bound column is which column in that table contains the values you want to store, in this case, column one. The column count allows you to display more columns if there were any to aid your selection. In this case, there aren't any, and we only want to see the first one. List rows seven, because there are seven rows to select from. We also set limit to list to be yes, which makes it impossible to select anything else. We can now see from the records that have been selected there, as we tighten a new record, As we move across record number three for Jane Smith, who's in year group number seven, if you try and put in eight, it won't let you. Her tutor group, which has been entered in lower case, but because of that greater than sign goes into capitals. Our drop down menu is there. We can only select from that the default value, again, already there. 